Our standard method of descent is by rappelling on the full circle line. To install your rappel device, take a bite of rope through your belay device, in this case Black Diamond ATC. The locking carabiner join that bite and the belay device's keeper to the belay loop on your harness. Be sure to lock your carabiner and double check that lock by squeezing the gate. If for some reason you need to go hands-free during a rappel, you can call down to your ground operator and ask them to put pressure on the climbing rope downstream of your rappel device, or you can install an auto block. To install an auto block, take a non-locking carabiner, clip it to your leg loop, take a prussic loop, and wrap it all the way around the rope. Many wraps, and rejoin the prussic loop to that carabiner. The auto block provides about as much friction as you need to simulate hand pressure on the downstream side of the rappel device. If you've tied it correctly, you should be able to let go of your rappel device and remain in position. Take care to tie your auto block short enough so it won't run into your rappel device. Every so often we're called upon to switch to rappel midstream while ascending. This is a multi-step process that's good to practice while you're close to the ground. First, lower your lower ascender, make room for the belay device. Take a bite of rope, press it through the belay device. And join the bite and the keeper to your harness with a locking carabiner. At this point, you want to either call to your ground operator to give you a fireman's belay, or install an auto block. Now, step down in your lower ascender, taking the weight off of your upper ascender. Remove the upper ascender from the rope. Carefully sit back down on the belay device, making sure to grab a hold. Pull your foot out of your foot loop, remove your lower ascender, and let that dangle and you're ready to descend. If anything, it's more important to check a rappel rig before you commit to it. Rappelling happens when you're high up in the tree, possibly at the end of the day when you're tired, or hurrying to escape a swarm of bees or a thunderstorm. So take the time to do a thorough double check before you commit to the system. First, make sure that you are installing your rappel device on the correct side of the full circle line. Pull up some rope and give it a test to make sure the tension does indeed come, ag come up against the ground anchor. Communicate with your ground person to make sure that nobody is tampered with the ground anchor while you're in the tree. Install your rappel device and double check that it's installed correctly, that your carabiners are locked, that your harness is doubled back, and that anything that's dangling down, uh, like hair or a necklace or clothing, is secured away from your rappel device. The rappel is a significant safety management challenge, but our students often report it was one of their favorite elements of the class.